Hello everyone, my name is Titus and today we are going to create a relationship between RMS and peak value of volatility current. We already know that uh, RMS value of current is that value of direct current which produces the same amount of heat through a circuit in a given time t as is produced by alternating current in one complete cycle. We also know that I is equal to I0 sin omega t where I is small i is alternating current. and I0 is a peak value of current value of current or simply alternating current. Uh, let us write that heat uh, generated in a DC circuit for a time t b h is equal to I RMS square into R into T. Let us draw the circuit diagram for that also. This is a circuit diagram. We have the battery connected. I RMS is a current. And for alternating current for the same resistance R is a current B I where again from here we can say I is equal to I0 sine omega t. For alternating current this is a diagram for one complete cycle. So total time from here to here p is the time period and here i is equal to i0 sin omega so, for alternating current, we can write heat H is equal to I square R into T. Or we can write this is the expression, or for dH, for us, we will divide this with small section. Uh, and we can write dH dH is equal to I square R into dT where the value of T starts from 0 and ends at T that means we can say T is a value which ranges from 0 to capital T that means T is greater than or equal to 0 and less than or equal to capital T integration from 0 to capital T and 0 to H. So this part if we solve it we can simply write this to be I square I can write I0 sin omega t whole square R into dt integration 0 to t. Uh, I can take out I0 common so I0 square R into sin omega t whole square into dt integration 0 to t. I can simplify this further. I can write i0 square r into in place of sin omega t. I can write to be sin square omega t into dt integration 0 to t or oh, that is equal to i0 square r in place of sin square omega t. I can write 1 minus cos to omega t by 2 into dt integration from 0 to t. Now we can integrate this. The expression is dh integration from 0 to h that is equal to integration from 0 to t. We have i 0 square r by 2 into 1 minus cos 2 omega t into dt integration. I0 square r by 2 is a constant. So I can write I0 square r by 2 into integration 0 to t 1 minus cos 
to omega t into dt that is equal to i0 square r by 2 into integration of 1 is t minus cos to omega t is sin 2 omega t divided by 2 omega so limit varying from 0 to t similarly for this h the integration will be h and the value from 0 to h so omega we know omega is equal to 2 pi by capital t so now putting the limits let us call this to be the rough work so we have h minus 0 is equal to i0 square r by 2 into we can write upper limit of t is so t minus 0 minus 1 by 2 omega into sin 2 in place of omega I can write 2 pi by t into in place of t t minus sin 0 ok so it will come to i0 square r by 2 into t minus 1 by 2 omega if we can cancel this tt here it will come to sin 4 pi minus sin 0 that is equal to i0 square r by 2 into t minus 1 by 2 omega into sin 4 pi is 0 minus sin 0 is also 0 so it, we have the value i 0 square r by 2 into t that is equal to h so this is the heat generated due to an alternate current so we will equate this with the heat generated due to direct current which is h is equal to i r m s whole square into r into t let us call this to be equation 1 and this to be equation 2 so equating equation 1 and 2 for heat we have h is equal to i rms square r into t that is equal to i 0 square r into t by 2 r r we can cancel t t we can cancel so we have i rms whole square is equal to i 0 square by 2 or we have i rms is equal to i 0 by root 2 this is the relationship between RMS value and peak value of alternate current or we can say I0 is equal to root 2 times I RMS.